Okay, just to document some of this, I'm leaving my mother's house now, and I'm gonna try to make over uh, to my house and see how bad, well, I mean, it's bad, but to see what it looks like, really. Thanks, and we'll see how this goes. So that's everybody evacuating flood areas, trying to get out. That's a dude with a boat. Okay, I am about to pull up to the studio. Uh, fingers are crossed. No signs of flooding on the van. All right, I'm gonna go inside. Hey, we have power. Nothing is wet. All right, truck is good. Woo, gear is good. No water on the floors. Oh yeah, gear is good. Everything's fine. Yes. All right, cameras are safe. Subwoofer, safe. Computer tower, safe, safe, safe. All right. In the studio, safe, safe. No water in the shop. Friggin' awesome. The new jib is good. I am so happy that the studio didn't flood. Powering down the lights. All right, so the studio was good. Woohoo! That was the big worry. I mean, the house sucks, but the gear's where, you know, all the business comes from. So I'm glad that's good. I am all suited up. I've got a uh, rain jacket and my waders on, and uh, we're headed to the house. It's 0.7 miles from here, so we'll see how this works out. It's not good when you see flooding on West Little York, because I'm way closer to the bayou than all this way closer to the bayou than all this. Like, I'm the second row of houses behind the bayou. There is one row that's closer. I don't know even know if it matters at this point. Yeah. gets pretty deep. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't evacuate, this would be me for sure. This would be me for sure. Look, look at that truck, yes. That truck is made for this. All right, I'm gonna figure out how to get to my house. Um, more to come. So latest update, I parked the truck way back there. It's the first spot I could find. And now I'm walking in, which, I mean, I've gotta be easily two, three, four, six, eight blocks away from my house. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're pretty far and you know, it's already it starts here. This is Harper's Bridge. I take this road to get to my house. Kind of don't have words for what's going on. Right now it's surreal. You know, it's like, well, I mean, you guys know. Most of you are here from Houston that are gonna see this. I mean, and this, it's like surreal. Like right now it's just kind of a dream. I think it'll set in in like the next month and two when we're trying to put everything back together. Um,
So another thing I just thought about, um, I've only been treading in this water for maybe three blocks and my legs hurt. I already want a boat and I'm of able mind and body. Um, foolishly on Sunday, I had that in my own secret little thought there, you know, like, do these people really need a boat? The rescue workers are knee deep. Why are there people in the boat? Why don't the people in the boat just walk out? But if, if you're sick, if you're ill, if you're overweight, there's a bazillion different. If you just don't work out a lot. This is hard work, and it really makes me feel for the uh, first responders because they were out doing this for 24 hours, saving people. And it really kind of is a testament to the human condition. Uh, we may bicker and fight about stuff, but ultimately we all come together and help each other in these tragedy moments. See how deep this is? So, that's that. How you doing? Flooded! Yeah! <laughs> so... That's pretty good. I kind of want to be on that boat. I kind of would love to be on that boat. It's no lie. Oh, here we go. We're going to take that picture right there. Okay, this is getting pretty deep. Yeah, did you see what's happening here? I am, this is my camera, by the way, uh, to keep it dry from the little bits of sprinkle rain. But, yeah, it's pretty deep. Just taking it slow. All right, let's just let's just keep on going. The um, holy crap! Holy crap! Um, all right, we're definitely above waistline now. Man. All right, I'm gonna have to uh, reassess reassess my bag situation. I'm way deep. Where's the curb? There's got to be a curb around here somewhere. There's a pole for crying out loud. Where's the curb? Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. I'm gonna reassess from here. We'll figure out what happens next. Getting closer. So, I'm pretty deep in it now and there's not many boats or rescue people around. And um, it's so quiet, except what's eerie is you hear all the car alarms and horns just going off and lights on the, uh, sorry, I'm trying to find the sidewalk underneath my feet. The, light, the headlights on all the cars are, are uh, Makes it seem like there's people in it. I'm sorry, I'm kind of spacing out a little bit. Like, this is, can you see that? This is, this is intense. Um, oh, sidewalk. Here, check this out. So, I'm getting close to my house. I'm still not there yet. This is, this is one of the eeriest things I've, I've ever lived through, seen before. It's, it's unreal. So, in the most honest, real way, like, 
my mother got on me for wanting to come down here and see my house. And I understand, you know, what's the point? It's gone anyhow. Um, but I feel like I needed to see this. And I'm, I mean, man, I'm glad I did. Um, it puts a whole different emotional wrap around this whole thing. Um, it makes it more real and it makes it more sad. Uh, but I mean, look, man, I'm gonna be okay, right? Like, this is my street. I gotta slow it down a little bit because it's definitely really getting deep now. <sighs> so we're getting really close now to my house. In fact, that was my neighbor's house. Um, that's my house. Oh, the barrel took float. Hey, barrel, I was gonna use you as a table, and I was gonna set my stuff on top of you, but you are not in a condition to do that. Let's try to set this back up. Oh, that's my front door. My front door is underwater. My front door is underwater. How you guys doing? Need some help? No, I'm okay. I walked in, and I was prepared for it. Got picked up yet? I don't. I just walked in and I live here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for everything you're doing. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get this barrel back how it's supposed to be. And that's all there is to it. I'm letting it fill with water and it's going to be right here. And I might even sit on top of it for a minute. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Okay, um. Refrigerator's not floating. All right, let me try to save some of whatever's going on here. I'll get back at this in a second. So I saved all of my magnets, which is good because they were on this shelf and they would have all been ruined. Um, I've got all my magnets up in there. My uh, floorboards underneath me are buckling up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop recording for a minute and just figure out what's going on here. So, I mean, ultimately looking around, there's really nothing I can, I can do with this. Um, so, here, let's uh, show you Aubrey's room. threw everything in a mad dash up as high as I could that was semi-important and I think it might work at keeping it something safe like TVs and stuff pictures off walls as best I could Oh man, that helicopter just flew. So... That hell. 
That helicopter just flew super low right in front of my house. All right. Um, oh, that's a that's a garbage can. It might be time to just make my way out of here. I don't want to be confused for somebody that needs rescuing. That's um, pretty important. Man, my washer and dryers. Oh, I love those washer and dryers. I need to figure out like what this means to me. Good. I'm good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Well, Laika, you've been to war with me and back. That's awesome. National Guard is on the move. Thank the Lord for them, and our country, and our government, and our tax dollars, and all of it. Thanks for all of it, because America's awesome. If we were somewhere else, man, we'd be left on our own, and we're not. And that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm turning the lights off, and I am going to... I'm going to get out of here and have a new outlook on uh, life, really, um, have a new outlook on life uh, in entirely. For what it's worth, I'll lock that. Until we meet again. I'm pretty sure I just saw a crocodile over there. Uh, alligator? Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. All right. I got a lot of things I gotta think about and I gotta get off this phone so um, I can pay attention. I'm out. So I'm leaving my subdivision and I felt this was important.